Sri Lanka, an island nation fringed with beautiful beaches and swaying palm trees. It is famous for its welcoming people, boundless natural beauty and its passion for cricket. The country and its people have endured a turbulent past with a decade of civil war and natural disaster. But the nation is emerging from the shadows. One man who has been part of the journey is England cricket legend and Loris Academy member Ian Botham. The Englishman has travelled to the island countless times over the past decade, raising funds and contributing to a number of charity projects post-tsunami. Having helped launch the sports project in the south of Sri Lanka, Botham hopes it can be replicated in the north. Visiting the country recently and arriving via a military envoy, Botham had set himself the incredible challenge of walking over 160 miles across the island in just eight days, raising funds for the Laureus Sport for Good Foundation. We're delighted we've come. We're a non-political organisation. We're here to just give a chance to people who wouldn't have that chance. And that's what we've done in the south and now we want to achieve it in the north. The epic eight-day walk crossed the whole length of the island, kicking off with rapturous support in Kilinochi in the north of the country. The cricket star set an incredible pace throughout the first half of the challenge, cheered on by locals and joined by thousands of enthusiastic walkers. However, both of them had his work cut out, marching along the Sri Lankan roads in 30-degree heat and almost 100% humidity. For both of them, the arduous daily walk is always about the finish line. I don't want to know the routes. There's no reason for me to be, to be cluttered up with where, the, where we're going. Uh, all I want to know is when I start the next, each morning how far I've got to go, then I can set my watch and I know what time I'm going to be in. Anyone that knows me and knows me well will tell you that I'd have to have my leg bitten off uh, to not complete the walk. Day five and the team arrived in Sri Lanka's bustling capital, Colombo. The starting line was a chaotic scrum of Sri Lankan supporters and international media desperate for a peak of the cricket legend. The 20-mile walk was the most gruelling day so far and the walkers had to contend with the frenetic Colombo traffic, a mix of tuk-tuks and beeping horns. Australian cricketer and fellow academy member Steve Waugh joined the walkers for a tough day in the Sri Lankan capital. After five hours in sweltering heat, the team made it to the finish line. I'm amazed at the pace of the leading group and I don't know how they do it, but it's, uh, it's pretty inspiring, but um, a bit um, demoralising as well when you're 100 metres behind every, every 500 metres. You've got to try and catch up, but it's, uh, it's been a good experience. After two more days of painful marching on the roads of Sri Lanka, day eight, the final day of the challenge, had arrived. Setting off in the scorching heat, the teams of fundraising walkers were cheered with support at the starting line by musicians, dancers and a few inquisitive locals. Joined by Sri Lankan idol Mataya Muralitharan and South African rugby legend Mornay de Plassey, the walkers were offered a new sense of purpose. As the endless miles of grey tarmac stretched out before the team, both of them seemed to only be getting stronger. His relentless pace meant that many of the other walkers spent much of their time running to keep up. Passing paddy fields and Buddhist temples, the cheers of local schoolchildren kept their aching legs and blistered feet moving forward. The final day of the challenge and a week of hardship was almost over. A day of walking, walking and more walking led the team to an impassioned arrival of flags and smiling faces at Sinigama, the home of the Foundation of Goodness, a beneficiary of funds raised from the walk. After eight days of heat and humidity, there was endless praise for the legend Sir Ian Botham. I can only give all admiration to Beefy for actually walking this heat, but the spirit was just carried us. The spirit of the people, the side of the road, the, the fact that we were coming to the foundation is sort of inspirational. Everything's inspirational about this. This something is very difficult in this country because of the humidity and the hot weather. It's hard. If you know, you're open all, you can survive a little bit more because yeah, it's, it kills you. It's been, a, I think, a, a big success down here. It's uh, absolutely uh, stunning what's been achieved. Uh, it gets bigger and better here and uh, the North is crying out for some help, so we're on our way. Sir Ian Botham's unfaltering support for the people and the country of Sri Lanka show no signs of waning. With help from the Laureus Sport for Good Foundation, the future for the youth of the country is bright.